CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 196 through 200. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 196. An IT department is tasked with enhancing their organization's security to protect against brute force attacks. Which of the following measures would be most effective in achieving this goal? The answer is C. Increased password complexity. Password complexity protects against brute force attacks by significantly increasing the number of possible password combinations an attacker must try. A complex password includes a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and special characters, making it harder to guess or crack using automated tools. In addition to increased password complexity, implementing a policy that locks out accounts after a certain number of failed login attempts can further protect against brute force attacks. Question 197. A company is experiencing issues with their network. Employees are unable to access websites by domain names, though they can access them using IP addresses. The network administrator determines it is a firewall-related issue. Which of the following ports should the technician open to allow for DNS recursion? The answer is B. 53. DNS, short for Domain Name System, is used to translate domain names into IP addresses, allowing users to access websites using easy-to-remember names instead of numerical addresses. DNS operates on port number 53, so opening this port in the firewall will enable DNS queries and responses to pass through, resolving the issue. Question 198. What feature in Active Directory allows administrators to change the default location of a user's folders? The answer is D. Folder redirection. Folder redirection allows administrators to specify a new location for users' folders, usually to ensure they are stored on a network server instead of the local machine. This setup helps centralize data management, improve backup processes, and provide consistent access to user documents from any networked computer. Question 199. A technician needs to set up a new folder on a Windows workstation for storing project documentation using the command line. Which of the following commands should the technician use to create the new folder? The answer is D. MD. The command md, short for make directory, is used in the command line to create a new folder in Windows. It specifies the creation of a directory at a designated path, which is necessary for organizing and storing files. This command is essential for file management and helps in structuring data effectively. Question 200. A new data center is being constructed, and the project manager is discussing the importance of various systems with the team. What would be the most likely reason a filtration system would be discussed? The answer is B. Dust particles can clog the machines. Filtration systems are essential in data centers to prevent dust particles in the air from clogging machines, which can lead to overheating and hardware malfunctions. Effective filtration helps maintain optimal performance and extends the lifespan of the equipment. By controlling the environment, data centers can avoid costly downtimes and ensure smooth operations. Filtration is just one of the many measures taken to protect sensitive electronic components from environmental hazards. Wow! You have completed 200 questions. How about one more question, as a reward for your hard work? Question 201. Which of the following could potentially be a system requirement for the installation of a software application? Choose all that apply. If you chose all the possible answers, you are absolutely correct. All the options, 32-bit versus 64-bit architecture, GPU, VRAM, RAM, CPU, 
and storage could potentially be system requirements for installing software. A 32-bit or 64-bit architecture must match the software design to ensure compatibility. GPUs and VRAM are crucial for graphics-intensive applications, while sufficient RAM ensures smooth multitasking and performance. The CPU speed and number of cores affects the software's efficiency, and adequate storage is necessary for installation and operation. Congratulations on reaching the end of our CompTIA A Plus Core 2 practice exam. Your dedication and hard work are truly impressive. With this milestone behind you, you are now a bit closer to earning your A Plus certification. The next step is to register for the official certification exam. While you've achieved so much already, some extra review can only help. So feel free to revisit our free training videos or take another shot at our practice exam anytime you want to ensure you're fully prepared. Remember, we're cheering you on every step of the way and can't wait to see you succeed. Best of luck, we're rooting for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.